What the hell are you doing in the bathroom day and night? Why don't you get out of there? Give someone else a chance. Like, no, your your personal dog just fucking bit somebody. What's what's like what could happen? You're open up to civil liability um, regarding the dog bite and it's probably gonna get put down. The, the okay. What if the dog take it, put it down. What if they don't and the dog bites another person? I'm gonna take it for sure. Okay, what if they don't and the dog bites nine more fucking people? <laughs> What then? I guess it gets, uh, you just uh, kind of like let it go. And fuck it. Okay, now whatever. What if, what if those 11 <laughs> fucking people the dog bit were secret fucking service agents? What then? What happens then? Uh, I don't know, yeah, man. Yeah, because the, the president's fucking, the president's German Shepherd just bit its 11th fucking secret service member. What 11. 11. Okay, so one one eleven. All right, I'm gonna have to do this now. You're making me. You're making me do this. Here you go. Yep, ladies and gentlemen. The first, I guess, is he the first dog? First dog, yeah. First Commander first Biden. His name's Commander. <laughs> oh God. Commander. Commander his other Biden. Dog's, Biden. Another secret his other dog is named Major. There it is. There's Commander. Look at how cute. Unless you're know, a secret, secret service agent. <laughs> Getting bit. If I brought uh, my dog to work and it bit eleven of my fucking employees, I'd be in fucking trouble. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Commander you lose your job. The dog. US Secret Service agent at the White House Monday evening. Sienna has learned the eleventh known biting incident involving the two-year-old <clears throat> German Shepherd. Yeah, uh, a uniformed division police officer came in contact with a first family pet and was bitten. The officer was treated by medical personnel on complex. USSS Chief of Communications Anthony, I'm not even gonna fucking can't pronounce it. Just the injured officer, Anthony, Anthony Guglielmi, the uh, the injured officer spoke with the Secret Service Uniform Division Chief Alfonso M. Dyson Sr. on Tuesday, and is doing okay. Guglielmi said, "The fucking dog." Wow. Yeah. The fucking dog. I mean, what are they doing about that dog? What? Nothing. Clearly. For it the looks 11th like a fucking time. Puppy. Yeah, it's a puppy. It just put two people in the fucking hospital. Whatever. Okay, so you guys like, ready for the amazing part? We just went live when we started talking about the dog. Why? Why? I, I saw did that. you forget? I, did you forget to hit a button? Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> I see that I see the live count at two minutes and fifty one seconds. You guys missed. You guys missed some good shit. You, you guys, guys missed, missed us talking about Jethro. You're going to have to just go back and listen. <laughs> no, because it it's not. It didn't go live. So oh, it, it didn't doesn't record? Work. It was our private little conversation, apparently. Oh, Chuck wow. Oh, shit. Happy. So we, we said all the intros, all that well, stuff. So remember how we were having a business conversation, and then we started having the podcast, and I yeah. started the intro? I yeah. missed a step. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to title this one Shit Show Part 2. Four assholes reunited. Oh, to be f- <laughs> <laughs> you guys oh, missed my Jeth- Jethro Toll recap. Like, man, there was some gold in that. Yeah, uh, Matt. We even gold. played a fucking song. We even played a song. We played one of his songs. You missed it. I mean, Google gold it. is a strong. This is the strong liberty of description. Margo, how would you? Okay, you have been you have been decidedly quiet on the Jethro Tull debate. Where do you land? Here, I'm going to give the audience, if you don't know, here we go, a little bit. Scale of 1 to 10 being 10 dick in the mouth? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. Okay. On My man plays of... flute. Yeah? Skin flute. My man's up there around d- dancing around playing flute, you know what I'm saying? Like... Okay, okay. Hey Scott, hit, hit. I know you're there. Peace of been peace of mahalo. You need to throw it out in the comments. What's the verdict on Jethro Tull? I just I know don't know how I just don't know how two of my musician brothers 
cannot appreciate the band that is Jethro Tull. I've I never really been into classic rock. It is Rush. Like, I didn't grow up with it. Own any of their albums? The, there's true. a difference between owning albums and just appreciating like music. Oh, no, I, I, and, I can appreciate. I, I appreciate it. I just don't need to go see it live. I don't. I don't own it. I don't celebrate it. Like I get it. I understand did you it. Cho- did you choose this event, man? And yeah, yes. I, yeah, I, no, I. I chose it, and then I forgot okay. that I chose it because I chose sure. it so long ago because I I wanted Word. to make sure I got the tickets. So as soon as I, I saw it. it, I was like, I'm gonna "Snag these." This is fucking okay. who's from Fact of Fiction? That's Piso Mojado. Oh, I tried to get Jethro's autograph. He looked at me funny. He, he his won't name's give not us Jethro. an answer because his yeah. name's not Jethro. He knows Jethro told the name of the band. Yeah, of course. He's just being you, funny guy, funny, funny guy. Okay, so there was the, I okay. Here's the thing. Don't they have dog trainer? Can't Caesar Milan? Like, don't they have him on the can they just say, hey, can you come to the White House and keep the president's dog from fucking biting? You, you, you would think it? after the after the first incident, maybe Wait. the second incident, after the third, yeah. fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. I don't know. You, any of those you know, times. You know, you know why they don't bring Caesar Milan to the White House to train the dog? Because he be he be hitting the fucking president in the neck every time he fucking passes an exit or, or passes like, right past the entrance of a chopper. You got to turn into this the president stop talking right now. You know what I'm saying? That's what they they need to do. That they actually they need awesome. to bring the yeah, fucking. All right, so I want to play a little clip if it's all right, um, a news conference clip because I want to get your guys. I I'm curious to know if you guys know any about this stuff. Um, this this was a breaking story this week. It has. Has to do what with it, what it break. Here we go. Oh yeah, man. Chart love the internet. Well, I'm not giving them a free commercial. There's no commercial. way. That uh, I could probably just stop sharing that page right now. Yeah, look at that. Wait till the commercial's over. Uh, suck it, Trebek. Uh, anyway, so they got Tupac's murderer charged and arrested. Why? Well, I, well, I guess. He's, he was there, but he wasn't the trigger man. Well, I mean, but he was no part of the, the, the run up crew. Yeah. Right. Shakur was an artist who was signed with Death Row Records. And that Death Row Records and its CEO, Marion Shug Knight, Marion, affiliated Marian is first name. with the Mob Pyru criminal street gangs, and that they mm-hmm. had an ongoing mm-hmm. feud. With the South Side Compton Crips. Dwayne Davis was the leader and Keith shot caller Deep. of the South Side Compton Crips. And both of these gangs operated out of the Southern California area of Compton. Uh, On the night of September 7th, of 1996, this game needs less, Tupac less Shakur, differences. along with Suge Knight, and He's members tough. of their entourage, which that include members of Mob there. Pyru, He's not selling me on this. And the Mike Tyson fight at the MGM Grand Garden Arena. Oh, he's going to give the whole thing. Anyway, so uh, Dwan Keith Davis was telling a cable channel that he was a front seat passenger in a car from which a fellow passenger fired the shots that killed Tupac Shakur. In 2009, Davis, known as Keith D, confessed to a pol- to police a role in the case. A former detective who investigated the shooting told CNN, but authorities couldn't immediately use the information. I don't know why, unless they... Like he was told under some sort of outside of Miranda or whatever, but I think this has something to do with the investigation that was going on in LAPD. From what I heard, talking about the IA investigation with Biggie and stuff like that, <clears throat> David Mack. Yeah, <clears throat> there was a guy who was going to confess to a bunch of fucking murders, but he needed he he said he needed um, immunity if he was to tell any of it and it has implications of a lot of people. And so they ended up granting him the deal and he gave it all up. So he gave the whole thing up. Just that's just what I heard from a a former, uh, Hmm. uh, office, uh, SWAT officer. Interesting. Yeah. It was some wild, crazy shit. When he was telling me so much information, find him. I was like, what the fuck? But yeah, it was, uh, by the way, did any things people the bots act up today? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> the, 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 the hey, what? Oh, okay. 
let's talk about that for a hot second. Okay. And, and Peace is going to love this. Guess so wait, what? Other... Because Margo said what? Oh, so so Y'all today. Okay, hmm. so today, today FEMA broadcast. They tested their uh, wireless uh, emergency broadcast thing. This is this is like oh. the oh shit from the federal government, like. Like a national, uh, yeah, like a national fucking disaster. Like there's a fucking nuke inbound or some national fucking thing that doesn't just affect uh, one certain part of the country, but affects the entire country. And they need to let everybody know that, right? So it's like, it's like the, oh Uh shit, like shit's hitting the fucking fan. So they tested that system. And the big uh, uh, conspiracy behind it was that when they broadcast this tone for you know, the one minute that it was going to activate this certain chemical that was in the clot shot that most people got. Um, yeah, they said that this 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 element was part of nanobots. Yeah, like it was gonna, it was going to trigger like another pandemic, basically that was planned, and, and everybody that got the shot and all the boosters and all that other shit, and it was going to be like the zombie apocalypse. So this happened. It was two twenty p.m. Eastern time, so that was eleven twenty for the for the West Coast. <clears throat> um and, and for those of you who don't know what we're talking about it's like you know the EBS tone it's yeah I mean, uh, you I know I think I have it here this is a test of the emergency services broadcast nope. in the event of a real nope. emergency nope. that's, <laughs> not, it. that's not it but anyway right. it's that you know like it's when you get like an amber alert on your fucking phone if you have that shit Same enabled tone, right you know, it's the, it's that sort of thing. You know, the, the thing that didn't work in Hawaii during the fires. Anyway, um, or when they tested it last time in Hawaii, they said that there was a ICBM attack because they hit the wrong button and it, it came <laughs> over as, as not a... Yeah. Yeah. So it's that fucking thing. Okay. So that, that happened, right? If I told you there was yeah. another country... And I'm gonna file this in the interesting file. This is this is get this gets filed in the they can know where you're going. file. Another country happened to test their national oh shit broadcast warning system. No the exact same fucking day. Obviously Ooh. at the same time because of a time. Russia? Was, is peace all right? Bingo. 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 Uh, in the comments, peace fucking Russia. I'm allowed to look at the comments, right? I'm just not throwing them up on the screen anymore. Yeah, I'll do that. You were trying to, guys, get a little inside baseball. We still, I'm so used to running, being, having to run the whole thing from my end that now we're able to like send each other shit and like Matt's controlling the comments, but fuck, mind exploded. It's great. It's great. Yeah. Anyway, that's so Russia. Yeah. So uh, they, so they, uh, they happen to test theirs today. Which, which, you know, hey, like I said, I'm going to file that in the interesting file. Yeah. Uh, unpopular you know. popular political hypothesis. Yeah. I mean, one of our biggest fucking, the one, of the, the one country we're really butting heads with right now, and the one country that we're running a fucking proxy fucking war with. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I know. What are you talking yeah. about? Well, did you hear that Mexico did a show of force? Like, like they showed their... They did like a parade with their their military, and they invited China and Russia both to be a part of that. It was the I don't know when it happened, <laughs> but but yeah, they Mexico had. I don't know when this was, but I saw it today. They had Russia and China both in their parade for their military. Huh? Jesus. Kind of scary. Red Dawn people, Wolverines. Yeah. Well, what's this fuck? That little that wall. little fucking fat fucks parading around with his fucking daughter that we never saw before kim, kim jong un he's walking he's like parading his daughter around which rumor has it she's more fucking vicious than him if you can even believe that I, oh, yeah, fuck. I believe it. okay yeah so let's see what else uh we have oh marco you sent me a video that we were gonna play the crazy lady on tiktok okay so that's it right so here's the thing i clicked on the video and i was like yeah no, this is not it. Yeah, no, that's and it. So I, before I play no, it, that's it. That's it. Okay, so before I play this video, this is this is the crazy lady is what you wanted. I'm just yeah, this came it. this came up on my feed. I don't know fucking why. Actually, I do know why because I was going down the rabbit hole of the conspiracy theory of what the um the emergency tone was going to activate, and this broad is like level ten 
like she is out of out of uh, Area Fifty One, as far as the conspiracy theories. She is Matt. You got to listen to what she says, especially okay. at the end. She's on a whole different level. All right, so uh, here we go. You sent this to share with the with the group. So, is, yeah. Is that is it? Is there any more you need to tell us before I put it up? No, by all means, listen to it. It's, you, you, yeah. If we go that with, we can alter timelines. Here we go. Five and nine hertz on three separate frequencies. <laughs> that okay. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to oh, tell that was a mic for a second. For your video. you got to join me this morning on my live, you guys. Oh my Today, God. October 2nd and Wednesday, October 4th, for sure, for sure. For sure, for sure. They're altering the timelines because oh they know what's coming with the and solar eclipse. On the wait, 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 wait. And then we've got to worry about the 24th. 10 days before and 10 days after, you guys. October 4th, October 24th. That's, yes. Yes. That's, yes. Join me live like, half an hour from now, you guys. 9.30 till 11 a.m. Central Standard Time, Monday, October 2nd. We have... Oh, my gosh. Wait, wait. 10, ten days. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 10 days after October 4th is not October 24th. That's not how the calendar works. No, 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 no. We, we so, said, yeah, we said, because October the eclipse. 4th, October 14th, October 24th. 10 days before, 10 days after. Didn't you, yeah, weren't yeah. you paying attention? Uh, weren't you no, listening? I, I, I was, I was looking at the, <laughs> the, the lab, the, the black lab and the fucking purple hair. And I was like, I'm out. <laughs> Guys, this is why I tell you, and I say this fully knowing I have my own social media channel and I'm able to talk to the world and say my opinions and I'm able to go live just like she was. This is why not everybody should be able to go live and have social media channels. Like this is this is why, although social media gives everyone a voice, not everyone should have it. <clears throat> I'm saying, saying the, the internet should have stopped at fucking uh, chat rooms, at AOL chat rooms. That should have been the peak. It should have stopped right there. <laughs> AOL peak. chat rooms that done. That was the peak. Uh, so that, that's the level of craziness that we've been dealing with when it comes to this fucking conspiracy theories. Oh. They're going to alter the timeline. We're going to jump to an. Uh, we're we're going full fucking. So we're in the multiverse. We're in the multiverse. We're going full Marvel multiverse. Uh, I mean, I'm about it. Like, I don't believe in the Mandela effect because here's the deal. People always, one of the biggest things that people point to on the Mandela effect is the Star Wars line. Uh, wait, what? Why are you giggling? Oh, <laughs> I just had a look that it's good. <laughs> oh, that is That's one of my fucking movies. good. That is one of my favorite movies. Um, no, I, I don't know. I, I just, I think fucking the way shit's going, we've got, we got much bigger problems. <laughs> and this lady, it, it, she could be right. She could be right. But this is why people don't deserve a platform. It reminds me of what's the, what's the Ghostbusters movie when uh, the guy predicts like, like Valentine's Day is the, like, it's, oh, it's the, yeah, yeah, yeah. More time to sell. Like, that's gotten a bit close. <laughs> anyway. I mean, uh, what's about the joint U.S. and J Japan bases off the coast of China? I have I not. Hmm. Ever heard about that? I haven't heard about it either. No. First is it in it. Japan? Mm -hmm. That's off the coast of China. <laughs> Japan. We is have off bases there. there. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you that's what Ford 1580 is saying. It's Okinawa. Uh, yes, it is the Ghostbusters movie. Peace all. Uh, speaking of the military, is it are, is our military being run by the fucking Marx Brothers now? Yes. Yeah, it is. That's, right. That's why I got out in the late '90s. I saw the writing on the fucking wall, and I was like, "I'm done." Well, to be fair, you were in the military when the commander in chief was sticking cigars in girls' vajayjays in in the overall. Correct. Office. And getting BJ's, <laughs> which <laughs> I support. That's I'm okay with. Our boats in port. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first World Trade Center attack. I mean, you were you were in the military yeah. for that one. You could have went if if the fucking they, commander dude, chief had had a nutsack. They they offered me a ridiculous reenlistment bonus, and I was like, I don't fucking care. I'm done. <laughs> yeah. Like 
yeah no there were there were a lot of people that that were getting out at that time well yeah you were on a helicopter cruise ship with no helicopters yeah for the last la yeah the last chunk of my fucking yeah motherfuckers don't get me started so mark how did you end up with this crazy woman in your feet I mean, how does anybody end up with this crazy woman anywhere know, did in their life? Did he send it to you, or did it just appear magically? No, like, it just fucking appeared. I was the going down like I was you. checking. Algorithms. Yeah, the alg algorithm gave it to me because I need a I fresh ice cube. Out, I was checking out the um, the conspiracy bullshit on the on on. Uh, she has another video where she was talking about the that they were supposed to she it was under the impression that they were supposed to play the the tone for 30 minutes you're supposed to hear that for 30 minutes 30 minutes 30 minutes yeah yeah they were they were they were in belief that they were going to play that tone for 30 minutes straight so i was like okay i gotta hear what the, what the fuck you know what kind of wave lesser she's on and that's when she hit the whole like you know, between this this hurts and this hurts, and I'm gonna tag the person the who talked about it. Like, yeah, I was like, yeah. oh, okay, like, okay, okay. That's Sorry, you're lady. on that whole different. You're on that whole different. So I got hit with between that and the <laughs> my feed was that and the speaker of the house. That's that was my feed for the last like day or two. Oh, like, oh god, I was, like, I was like, this is bad. <sighs> this is bad. It's bad stuff. Bad stuff. Well, our like I said, we are being run by clowns. And I think um, that's never been more evident uh, uh, by the than the fact that we are now uh, losing advanced military aircraft in people's backyards. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here is the nine one one call <laughs> <laughs> from the guy who had the F thirty five crash in his backyard enjoy i'm sorry what happened uh we got a pilot in the house and <laughs> I just landed in my stop and stop 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 pause it pause it pause it <laughs> why does it gotta sound like fucking <laughs> cousin cousin chino so the hey, man, pilot hey, landed. The pilot landed in the backyard, not the plane. The plane hey, fucking uh, crashed is, eighty miles away. Marco's right man, though. It, it's, man, it's, listen, it's, listen, it's listen, this is, this, like, listen. This is my. This is Linda. 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 Listen. This is. A, yeah, this is the. No, no, I get it. Hey, hey, mira, we were having the. We were having the primas quinceañera. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and right before right before the fucking tacos hit you know what I'm saying we had the asada tacos and the pastor tacos this crazy white boy comes boom <laughs> <laughs> crashes the guacamole homie and now he's over here covered with guacamole and blood and it's just fucked up can you send somebody <laughs> no 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 it's cool <laughs> so this is yeah he does literally he sounds like yeah so there's the call's a amazing though. You could tell the nine one one operator just right, fucking it. is just she reading was... out of her fucking book. She's reading he, out absolutely. Of okay, keep. I'm sorry. Yeah, play, keep here. playing, Thomas. We'll yeah. the because I love the moment where he goes, "Um, there's a pilot in my house. There's a pilot in here. <laughs> we got a pilot in the house." <laughs> then operator's like, "What? So what? We got a pilot in the house, <laughs> and I guess he landed in my backyard. I guess he landed in my backyard. Trying to see if we could get a um. What happened? But that's that's the other thing too. He's, just, he's she, said, she said, "What happened?" Just to be real, like the guy's got to be standing there in a full G suit with his helmet. Yeah, like, absolutely. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, right? He's got to be standing. It, it's got to look like the scene in Maverick when he's in the fucking yep diner, <laughs> right? Yeah, hundred fucking percent. And walks in, like, homie's oh, like water. I, <laughs> I guess it's playing landing in my backyard or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess like he said it did. I didn't see a plane, you know. I mean, he's got a he's got a uniform. <laughs> like that's the spirit. He's like, I'm not sure about this guy. <laughs> Here, I'm uh, sorry. What happened? Uh, we got a pilot in the house. The tortillas and fucked I up. Guess he landed in my backyard, and we we're trying to see if we could get a um ambulance to the house, please. We have a military jet crash. I'm the pilot. We need to get uh, rescue rolling. I'm not sure where the airplane is. <laughs> It would have crash landed somewhere. I ejected. Okay, I understand, <laughs> sir. Okay, no, you don't. How many people are hurt? 
Well, I'm the only one. I'm not sure about my okay. leg. Okay. Okay. How far did he fall? <laughs> this is great. This is great. This is great. About okay. And feet. what caused the fall? Uh, an aircraft failure. Okay. Is there any serious life? I, I don't know. I can't see myself. What did the other person say? <laughs> I, I feel like I'm I'm sorry, what happened? Oh, okay. <laughs> so yeah, so so we found out what we found out what actually happened. What, okay. what caused him to eject? Oh, he did. It, okay. It, it was a lightning strike that completely just blacked out that electric jet. Oh, okay. Okay. And so all of his shit just went dark. And he was like, fuck this, I'm out. <laughs> and the plane kept going for about 80 miles. Yep. And crashed in the woods. Yeah, oh, so that way. was the story. The other story in my feed was the military lost a billion dollar jet. Yeah. Because lightning, lightning struck it and fried fucking everything in the jet. Wait, do you think do wait. you think the do you think the government has insurance for act of God for destruction of God, that, I'm, I'm just, okay, that, I'm just saying. that whole that whole F-35 program is just sucking money out of the fucking government. It, it is like not performing. 11 billion, it's like not performing the like they thought it would. It's fucking horrible. It's just problem. It's like the, it's like when the Ospreys came out. Problem after fucking problem. But wait a minute. Uh, They're just uh, trying on, to on. fucking damage control. They, and yeah. Wait, wait. Because as they say, if you don't learn from your mistakes, right? There's a new Osprey coming. Yeah. Okay. So here, I, and so, that one's going to cause a bunch of fucking problems too. Watch. But you know what I found <laughs> out? And it's supposed and it's supposed to take a, take over some of the fucking Chinooks and some of the fucking uh, Blackhawks. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, here's what I found out. Yeah. I I was talking to a pilot. He's he, well. I mean, let's just say I was talking to somebody in the know. And well, you already said a pilot. So I, was yeah, I, pilot. Don't say, I was about to say where I know I'm from. I'm just no, you can just say, say I, I was talking to pilot. Done. Yeah. But not just I, I wasn't just talking to some Cessna fucking jockey at the local airport. I mean, I was I was talking to a pilot, okay? I was talking and, to a trusted individual with yes, the knowledge. I was talking to somebody with knowledge on the, of the subject who said that <laughs> what the military has discovered that, so what they did was they were taking uh, fixed wing pilots mm -hmm. and making them osprey pilots. Oof. Okay. And they, were, Oof. They, were, they were fucking it up. Oh, yeah. So no. they were like, oh, no, 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 no. Clearly, we had to get the rotary wing, the hel helo pilots. Right. And so they started taking the helo pilots and training them to fly the Ospreys. And they are fucking it up. <laughs> so now, with the new generation, what they are learning is that they cannot have either pilot. They need to no. take from scratch. And yeah. Yeah. To fly the Osprey because it is a completely original. Because here's here's the deal: helicopters do what helicopters do, right? right. And planes and do planes, what planes right. do. Yes, right. And, and those pilots both. know what those things do. Well, and that's okay. about it. I mean, in theory, <laughs> it's a cool fly idea. A jet. You can't fly a, a a Harrier. You can't just fly a Harrier. No, Harriers. Oh God, we had those on our ship. Those are fucking pieces of shit. <laughs> those Arnold? av right. those av eights they're fucking pieces of shit. Don't tell Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, they're pieces of shit. <laughs> Looks so cool in True Lies. True Lies callback, yeah. yeah. I know, but what were you saying? You were saying something before that. Um, I don't remember. Oh, uh, it was a cool concept. I mean, it's a cool idea, cool concept as far as with Osprey is concerned. But yeah, oh, dude. Okay, so let's 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 do this then. Uh, I we had a Mount Rushmore, but start thinking about it now. I'm going to call an audible for the end of the show and the audience to start. <laughs> that your number one, your Mount Rushmore of science fiction or fictional aircraft. Mount Rushmore of Ooh, fictional got aircraft. Got it. Okay. Got fictional, it. Okay. Mount Rushmore of fictional aircraft. So. And then so I have that, another. I have I have a spinoff for the Mount Rushmore that we'll do next week. Oh. That we can we can try tonight and see how it goes. It's it's okay. it's it's a one and one. It's it's just a two thing. Well, we've got time. Okay. You're right, Chuck. I just keep hearing noises. We've been thinking someone's been getting into our shed outside. That's right by my window right here. Mm -hmm. We always find it open. We decorations up and it's scaring him. Yep. 
No, we what don't. Have a, a, it's all in the shed. Why don't you put a home camera facing out there, links to your phone? I have one. I might. Oh, I have a bunch just, of cameras I haven't put up. Hey, listen, just just leaving the. Who knows? That's good. Just walk out back, start unloading with the fucking twelve gauge, and see what happens. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> sp- spray and pray. Just forget that. Boom, boom, right? Boom, just, boom. Boom. Just, boom. <laughs> right? I'm, I'm it's, ra- it. it's rabbit season, right? Like, it's rabbit season. Why the fuck not? Okay, so uh, should we watch another video before we visit Let's our? Because um, we've got some screenshots that we need to go over. Some of them are, you know, we got to visit single motherland. Okay. Yes. Uh, but some of these are, uh, some of them are also news stories. Uh, other things are like uh, other people are, you know, have said, sent us their Mount Rushmore's, but we've got tonight. So uh, let's start with this video that uh, my sent me. Here we go. This is a uh, police are searching for a suspect who killed an activist in Brooklyn is the, uh, is the caption on the video. Now, do you want to what give it kind an of, What kind of activist was killed? So he was a social justice uh, warrior activist. Okay, so um, I had it coming. Based, so it's ironic that this happened to him. <laughs> um, but the shocking, the shocking video shows at the moment that kind-hearted poet and activist is stabbed to death in a random New York City attack in front of his horrified girlfriend after the couple left a wedding. So this is, yeah. this is the video that goes with the the news story you sent right yeah got it okay okay so i wasn't i wasn't positive so yeah. this is the this is i guess the security footage or the own business 32 year old ryan carson and his girlfriend surveillance video obtained by pix 11 news shows an unidentified man in the black hoodie first walking by them the couple gets up to go on their way, but the man cuts them off. Police describe him as emotionally disturbed. At one point, you can hear the man yelling. <laughs> then, without warning, he lunges at Carson, who tries to run, but trips over the bus stop bench. The man then attacks Carson with a knife he's holding in his right hand. We are stopping the video right there. Right. Carson's girlfriend is clearly terrified. Go watch him. Go watch him. Another yeah. woman nearby comes over to help. I'm gonna call everyone. But Carson, a social justice advocate, was in bad shape. He died after being rushed to a hospital. It was early Monday morning here at Malcolm X Boulevard and Lafayette Avenue in Crown Heights. The couple was headed home after attending a wedding. What happened to Carson, his roommates, who were too emotional to appear on camera, say? Could have been, could have been anyone, could have been any other day, could have been any, any other place. He dedicated his life to helping others and making a difference, spending years as a campaign organizer for New York Public Interest he Research Group. Someday. In a statement, Nightperk said, Ryan was a beloved staffer, colleague, and friend, and a creative, talented, relentless, and upbeat advocate for students and the environment. In this GoFundMe video, Carson was raising awareness for overdose prevention, something his roommates say was another passion of his. Damn. I mean, wrong place, wrong time. He should have walked the other way. I don't know why he walked towards him. Like, yeah, what are you doing? I would have grabbed the girl, gone across the street. I don't know, boys. Any sane person would have done that. I'm so. I am so heartless right now about this stuff. It's it, the police officer in me has a real hard time. I should be connecting with the human being in me and saying that this is awful. And the police officer in me is going, this is what you fucking get. <clears throat> I, I, I'm i sorry. Like the fact that it happened clap. to be a social justice poet who probably called for the police to be defunded. And I don't know if that's true. It's a but, good bet. I mean, I'm guessing this guy's eulogy was fucking delivered via slam poetry, right? Like, how about how about and, this? And learn some, some basic skills? learn some basic skills to defend yourself. Well, violence is never the answer, right? What did you say? Uh, sometimes it is. Hmm. What would you say? Honestly, and that gets them killed. 
Because no, he's advocating because he's doing shit. So that's no. Cool. That's like, a, fuck and it. that's you know what I'm saying? Like, fuck it, just stab the motherfucker. Well, Done. Well, what makes the grass the, grow? The problem is like I am being the so heartless about the sun. Stuck. Time. I don't know. Should have been Careful carrying a words. fucking piece, man. Should have been going to the range and practicing. Take that little revolver out that snub nose and fucking pow. pow. Well, eat a dick. So, you're dead now. Well, if or you're not get, him, get hands, like, get, get handsy with a guy. Don't don't create distance. Close the distance. The guy's got a knife. Fucking get in there. Yeah, that's probably what's going to save you. I mean, you're going to get stabbed a fuck ton of times. You're, you're, you're going to look uh, knife on knife fight. You're getting cut. But if you create right. distance, you're creating yeah. more an opportunity for the guy to slash you at your fucking neck like you did. Fucking get yeah. close the distance. Get in there. Get in there and fucking give him a fucking angry hug. Take him to the ground. Fucking handle your business. Train. What was that? Be prepared. Yeah. yeah. Well, here's here's the other thing. If you're gonna advocate for the n- n- less police, you probably should at least consider the fact that you're gonna need to know how to handle yourself. Because it, oh, who's, who's kind of a shit person? The the girlfriend. Apparently, she. I mean, it's this is clearly. We we don't know this for a fact, but mm-hmm. somebody they did a little bit of research, and if she was affiliated with Antifa and supported, uh, all cops are bad or all cops are bastards, uh, or whatever the fuck it is, she's kind of a shit person too. I would agree with that. If that's true, I'd agree with that. So you now know, here's the thing. I agree with she Mark should have applied some fucking direct pressure on the wound. Just saying. There's a part of me that says <laughs> we need to take back the streets and say you know this is what cops do this is where this they keep you josh is right when violence is the answer it's the only answer i agree with that 100 percent yep um that we need to take these streets back but at the same time when i see this kind of stuff happen i kind of have gotten so numb to it where i go hey listen people we know how to fix this problem you have to let us when you tell us, okay, we're enough is enough, we'll stop it. But until you're at that point, I'm 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 ready to kind of let you just have the world you want. I don't know. I I know that sounds callous and heartless, but I don't know what else to say when it comes to people that get what they want and then discover it's lethal. Yeah. Like if you're going to be advocating for fucking defunding of police, you should probably be pro gun because you're going to need it. I, which is weird that most people that are defund the police are anti gun. Yeah, I don't understand what you think we're going to fucking like <clears throat> fix everyone with fucking rainbows and cupcakes and unicorns. The fuck? Well, because no. those those people don't understand that cops carry a gun for their own protection, not for anybody else's. Right. Like that's that's why police officers carry a gun. It's not to kill somebody; it's to protect themselves. <laughs> I mean, well, yeah, it's right. So, I have some. Am I the? I have some like. Hey, did y'all see the? Did y'all oh, see the? Man. The altercation at the Jack in the Box drive-through. No. Uh, I just put the video up on, on the, uh, on our. Okay. Yeah, I forgot to send. The, I forgot to send it earlier. This is uh, I this some that. shit. So as you're bringing it up, so what happened? What happened was, um, I think it's a couple in a truck goes through the drive-through with Jack in the Box. Uh, they order some. They order their food. They get their food, and realize that there's some fries missing from the order. So they um, went back oh, around. Oh, was this a shooting? And tell them that the yeah, tell them the fries, and they're going back and forth over the fries and over this over missing food. Um, they all they start basically a food fight, and I believe the people in the truck started the first, but the the, the worker at the okay. inside of Jack, uh, Jack in the Box decided to was, try to end it. Packing. Yeah. yeah. So have you had you found it, Tom? No. Yeah, I'm, we're ready whenever you want. All right, sure. Fire it off. <laughs> Here we go. Fire it off. Pun intended. <laughs> is there sound on it? There should be some sound on no. it. No. Oh, there is. There was no one there. there. Anthony Ramos was at the Houston fast food joint with his pregnant wife and his six-year-old daughter 
but returned to the window when he noticed an order of curly fries was missing. The worker named Alania Ford refused to fill the order, and an argument between the two ensued. Okay, so Ford then throws a knife and ketchup at Ramos and his family before pulling He's out a gun. He's in a big red truck. Oh, shit. Through. It's, it's she, just she loads the gun in her pocket before unleashing it on Ramos. Uh, As she opens up. fire, Ramos quickly drove off. Oh my Recalling God. the shocking incident that took place in Dude. March 2021, Ramos said, I was dumbfounded by it. I really couldn't believe what was happening. It was scary. He legit it was very, very out. scary. Mm -hmm. It was more of a panic mode at that moment. I'm lucky that I saw it when I saw it, and I was able to pull off when I did. And then my initial reaction was to call the police. Damn. What the fuck? That sounds like a Florida incident. I thought, I swear, when you were telling me what was happening, I thought it was going to be the driver that pulled out nope. the gun. Nope. And it was the freaking crazy lady. Jack in the Box, Jack in the box employee. That is oh. not justified. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> not at all. No. Okay, so I'm going to throw this up on the screen, and then I'm going to read it. Um, I don't want to read it, but I want to read it, and I have to read it because I found Oh, I it. just remembered something I should have sent you. Go ahead. Nope. Oh, you can send it to me now, okay. or we can save it for next week. Nope, since we're on the gun kick. Okay. So I'm going to read this to you. I, I found it, and I read it, and now you have to read it, and we have to talk about it because this is one of those Reddit places where – uh, people type to get things off their chest. It's literally called, called R off my chest. And so I wouldn't be surprised if some of these are bullshit. But something about this one <laughs> meant I had to read it. And it just it just goes... If, if it's bullshit, it's one of the worst stories I've ever read, fiction or nonfiction. And if it's real, it's even more horrific. Here we go. So my son, 15-year-old 15, 15 male, found that me, 43-year-old female, and my husband, 45-year-old male, are into cuckolding. I sleep with other men as my husband watch. Six months after finding out, he still refuses to speak to us and his utter disgust when he looks at me. I assume he Googled what cuckolding is, is killing me. He found out because I got careless. I am not very tech-savvy and stupidly asked him to fix something on com my computer he found some pictures. At first, he didn't say anything. He just got very <laughs> quiet. Uh, he st still does his homework, never late for school, or acted out in any way. But then, after being given the silent treatment for almost a month, I sat him down and asked him what was wrong, and he exploded at me and called me every name in the book. If dad is not good enough, then divorce him, he yelled at me. His father tried to talk to him, but he just keeps telling him to divorce me. He has never acted out like that before and is a good kid. And we obviously have stopped since he found out one of the men involved. He knows, and he has been like an uncle to him. And I had to inform him that he found out and what has been happening. And now my son hates him as well. And it's caused so much harm. Wow. He is always quiet now and refuses to have dinner with us. My husband said either eat with us or go hungry, but then he just went to his room without dinner and refused to eat altogether. And my husband and I backtracked after he only ate at school for a week <clears throat> and we let him alone, let him eat alone by himself eventually. Maybe he needs to talk to somebody, but he hardly has said more than four sentences to us these last months. He is way more angry at me than at his father. At least he responds to his father. Me, he ignores completely. We tried putting the hammer down and stupidly followed the advice of another couple and just told him it's none of his business. And that only pushed him further away and made things worse. And now he completely shut down, has zero respect for me, and keeps telling his father that I'm a bad person who enjoys humiliating him and that he should divorce me. I feel so horrible. My son hates me. <laughs> Where to begin, boys? Where? Damn. So he saw his mom getting dicked down by some other dude. He, he, he has found some pictures, so videos or pictures on his mom's phone or computer of his mom getting dicked down by a man that he considers his uncle, and 
before. Probably saw some text that described cuckolding or said the word cuckolding. And, he, and according to her, he Googled it. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we have a serial killer in the making. <laughs> so bad. Yeah. So there's that one. Uh, are you ready for our Am I the Asshole segment, then? Yeah. yeah. I, sent, I sent you my thing, too, on the Mirror Mirror. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. All right. Here we go. So I should, I'm should. i going to get that one right now. Is this the... Uh, the YouTuber. Prank gone wrong. Okay. Let me see if I can get this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Copy link. Nope. How do I open this bigger, dude? She said. Here we go. This is how we're going to do it. All right, here we go. I think I have. This is, this is I, you know, thank you for being patient with me, audience, because someday if I was smarter, I'd be able to do this faster. Here we go. What's that? Name? I'm thinking about my twin. No. I'm thinking about my twin. Get out of my face and fuck up, son. Stop. I'm thinking about my twin. Stop. Fuck around and find out. I never saw that one. Yeah. Really? The, the, shooter, the shooter just got acquitted of all uh, the one charge. But he's still in that again, though. 31 year old Alan Coley, not yeah. guilty of aggravated malicious wounding in the shooting of 21 year old Tanner Cook, who runs the Classified Goons YouTube channel. I wish I hadn't said their name because now they're getting publicity. Uh, lesser firearms charges they've decided to convict him on and acquit him on one, acquit him on one convict him on the other. Uh, wow. I did not see that. Uh, didn't even know that happened. And I'm, yeah, don't, I, I don't feel bad for the YouTuber at all. Nope. Nope. The guy said three times, get the fuck away from me. Like he backed away, backed away, backed away. Pop. Nope. Yeah. I mean, he's lucky he's still alive. He's very, yeah, I would have, I would have domed his ass. I would have fucking domed his ass. I mean, yeah, that would have been right in the freaking 10 ring. Yep. And I don't care what little caliber that was. It would and, been. and, and the little fucking prick with his mother at the, at the sentencing when the guy was found acquitted afterwards. There's a video of him out there, you know, they're interviewing the mother like, oh, and she's like, I'm just happy our son's still here. Da, da, da. And he pops in the picture and pulls his sunglasses off and just stands there and goes like this. Yeah. Right. Like trying to be funny. And he's like, hey. I'm like, dude, you're fucking go apologize to trees for wasting the fucking oxygen they create. You piece okay. of shit. And uh, so we're going to look at another screen cap for my the asshole segment. And to answer Co, what are those background images? Well, those are uh, what we're going to discuss later for our single mothers segment. So, here we go. Uh, am I the asshole for thinking about leaving my partner who is transitioning? I, 21-year-old male, have been with my partner of the same age since high school when we were both 16. When they turned 18, my partner asked me to use them, their pronouns for them which I was totally fine with. I'm definitely left-leaning, and being open-minded to these kind of things just comes naturally to me. A bit later, though, they started talking about feeling more like a man and starting hormone treatments. These treatments started about a year ago, and since then, their body already went through some stages of transitioning. To put it simply, their behavior and physical characteristics just changed, and I'm just not feeling comfortable with it anymore. We've still been having sex, but it's mostly them initiating and me feeling uncomfortable throughout the experience. I want to support my partner and show that I'm an ally of LGBTQ, but I'm feeling trapped in this relationship. It's starting to feel that I entered this relationship with a totally different person. I'm scared that if I break up with my partner, I'll be seen as a bigot, though. So I'm confused as to what I should do. So would I be the asshole to leave my partner to be with a more traditional, in a biological sense, woman? My social and political voices tell me that I should accept my partner the way they are, but something inside me just can't feel comfortable with the physical contact anymore. Maybe I should try to endure it and get used to the feeling, and eventually I will be fine with it. 
So oh. I'm confused. Is is the person that that okay? So this person that's writing it, are they fucking a biological woman? Who's, yeah. So it's, it's um, who's, he's a man, twenty one year old male. Okay, so this the, the, the person writing is, this is a man. Yes, and is dating a girl, a biological woman. Over Sixteen. Okay. And now the biological woman thinks, hey, I think I'm a man. I'm transitioning, taking yeah. hormones. Taking hormones. And it's starting to look more like a man. Right. And it's now wanting it up the ass instead of the vagina? I don't know. <laughs> well, they're transitioning, I'm so, so we don't know what, uh, what states they are. <laughs> yeah, I'm I mean, so I'm, I'm guessing they're, only, they're, a, they're not. It doesn't say anything about surgery. I just well, no matter what, you're still dressing more like a man, and his dressing more like a man. Facial hair. So it was like one of those hair. one of those non non binary people, are they them, who now decides he wants to be a he him. Yes. And even though it's a she her, I, I'm so confused. He him why, they them she hers. Why can't he we him just is leaving they them? I think oh, I got that. Jesus right. Christ. I'm so glad I'm not part of this. I mean, I, I, there's nothing wrong with leaving someone after they're changing to be something completely different than what you. Yeah, originally I went. mean, like, but if you're if you're hooking up with a non-binary person to begin with, then you're kind of rolling the dice. You don't know what yeah. that person is going to ultimately decide to be binary to, right? If you're Catholic and your wife decides to convert to Judaism and you don't want to be married to her because your belief system instructs you that the Jews killed Jesus, your Lord and Savior. I mean, that's one thing. If you if your significant other starts going through hormone replacement therapy to change into the opposite gender, and in today's society, thereby you must accept that that person is that gender, thereby rendering you a homosexual, I I don't know that there's any way around it. Like, I, I don't know, dude. Sorry. Like... You, you, you can take your losses and get them where you met a broken person who is healing themselves by doing things that changes who they fundamentally are, and you're they can do that for them, and it doesn't have to be for you. Uh, I'll take I'll take all this um, nowadays shit out of it and go and go to this. It's okay. It's okay to grow apart from somebody. It's yes. okay to get older and not be into that person anymore and not lie to yourself. It's okay to realize that the situation that you're in was not the situation that you agreed to be in when you first got together. It is okay right. for you. It is okay for you to change your opinion. It's it's not okay for you to hurt the person. It's not okay for you to be malicious towards the person. It's not for for it's not okay for you to hold that person accountable. If you're unhappy, if you're unsure, forget forget the transitional, forget everything else out of it. Right? Take take that out. Yep. If, if this is no longer the person that you got with. And that person was okay for that time and the time has passed. It is okay for you to say, I'm, this is not for me. And that doesn't make you not an ally or an ally or a non-supporter. Right. It just makes you say that I, for myself, I don't bring to the table what I believe that this person needs and they don't bring to the table what I need at this point in my life. And we need to yeah. move on, move apart and let things go. Whether it's straight, gay, Fucking furry love, transitional, it doesn't fucking matter. It doesn't matter. It, it, don't drag things out. If you're not at that point anymore, move on. That's it. I think, yeah, that was my religious thing is like, I don't think you could change just about anything in these circumstances and say, this is not what I signed up to yeah. marry. You could, you could do political affiliations. Right. Yeah. You, you, it's just, you, 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 got, you signed you up with a conservative go. person and they fucking switched over to being more of a left wing, far left wing Democrat. And you're like, whoa, what the fuck? You know, you, you like, got to let go of all be, the other shit. Intellectual, the emotional, if, if sexual. Yeah, yeah. If you're not, if you're not yeah, about like, it anymore, you're not about it anymore. Well, I guess like, on the same. Oh, go ahead. No, I was gonna say like fucking Troy said. Let me throw this up here. Boom. There we go. It's not what not he signed, what up, he signed up for. Nope. Mm -hmm. Not what he yeah. signed up for. Right. No. Uh, yeah. It's you know what's crazy? Marriage certificate. It said female. I'm sure. And now it's going to be changing. So. Null and void. I mean, look. I'll. <laughs> All this shit yeah. I'm going through, like I'm I'm applying it at at you know for my uh, uh I'm waiting for my my state fucking EMT license to come in the mail, and mm -hmm. on the application it said fucking male or female. There was no other fucking option. 
Yeah. There was no other fucking option. They're looking for biological shit. Are you ready for... uh, uh, I was going to say, when I went to Disneyland, um, I, I I walked past this one person, and they had long purple fucking hair, makeup done like a girl, like fucking body, like face stuff, contour lines, makeup done just like a chick. And then I saw it go with another female, and it was... You could tell that was actual female, and I was like, wait, that a fucking dude? And then I heard him speak, and I was like, oh, that's a guy dressed up as, like, some sort of anime chick with another chick. And I'm like, well, this this stuff is getting really weird. You could tell that they were together, but they were very, the guy was very, like, cis, I guess is what you would call it. Like, does that stand for, like, uberly feminine, like, not masculine male? No, so no, no, cis, no, no, cis is straight. Biological no. straight. Cis is your yeah. biological cis, um, yeah. Normal. designation. Yeah. Oh, well, this so, guy like, was just like, a super... We're all, like, we are all I mean, cis white. We're, we're all cis males. Oh, no, I'm I, just a male. I thought it meant like sissy or something. No, C- cis is it's like... You don't need right. the modifier when you're the C- thing, right? C- CIS is There's the, hero this. and there's no anti... There's hero and anti-hero. Yeah, no, oh, I, it's like, I never knew that. They, they came up with a new name for us, Chuck. Right. <laughs> oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just straight. I, I didn't get enough. I didn't, I didn't get a fucking vote. We're going to run out of time. So, Chuck Chuck wanted to ask about this, and I don't want to jip him two weeks in a row. I'm a grandma of 52 earning six figures on OnlyFans. My followers don't know I'm virtual. Look at this woman. If you don't know that she's not real, like. Yeah, I mean, come on. Oh, that's yeah. not real. I didn't know yeah. why you sent this to me, dude. How, do people really not know she's fake? I mean, she's I, mean, I don't know. She's earning six figures. So I guess what it is is that she is an actual. She started in OnlyFans in 2019. She's 52. Her name is Gina Stewart. Um, uh, but she recently transitioned to AI following a recent boom of the technology. Uh, the glam granny now looks decades younger than her virtual What's age her and has dozens of men commenting on her racy virtual yeah. posts. Uh, Gina, G I N A. Look, Stewart. I look. Hey, 50, 52, I saw a picture of her in real life. I, I if I was single, I'd so frick, if I if I was at freaking uh, uh, what's that fucking uh, cougar bar out in Westlake, bodegas, bod- something. I don't know. I haven't been there in a while, but well, that was a place to go mean, to get older women, and I would fucking. Right. I'm, I'd I'm, fucking, I'm not. I'd fucking. I get. I get drunk and hit her. I mean, so if you look For at sure. if you look at this photo, right? You look yeah. at that photo right there. Right, that's her actual in real life. Now this is her, her AI photo. I mean, it's like that's her twenty years ago. I'd buy it. Yeah, I I, mean, I would see that and you, think like that's not real. But the but argument real... is is she catfishing? Well, there's a whole new yeah, trend now. There's a whole new trend of of people putting together with the whole AI thing, putting oh, together yeah, yeah. fake AI. Porn. People doing OnlyFans. See, that looks and... like a, that's the computer game. That Look at their hands. Computer game. Yeah, Marco's right. Hands and, and feet. Yeah, yeah, hands, 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 and, and, hands and, and neck and neck too. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> How about, so? Shall we? Shall we end with Big Joke Energy, or shall we end with Visit to Single Mother's Land? Single, single Mother's. Single mother. I have zero. I have zero jokes prepared, and I want to hear some single mother shit. Okay. Here we go. Uh. This is our first single mom. This is Lori, 41. All right. Lori, 41. She's five foot four, straight. Just to be up front, I'm currently pregnant. The dad is not okay. involved. No risk. And won't be in the future. I don't Zero know if that risk. makes me undateable, but I know there are some stand-up men out there that won't let a little baby scare the mom. I'm fun-loving. Looking for my other half to complete the puzzle. I'm not a racist person, so if you are, I'm not interested. I love family time and making em- memories with my person. I love taking pictures and just being a great partner. Let's see what happens. Uh, Wow. Like, you're <laughs> getting right back after it. I'm currently pregnant. Yeah, she is not that far really along. If not, not far along at all. Th- that can't be a current picture, right? She's not that. She's she like she's gonna show up seven and a half months pregnant, right? That's oh, not for sure. If not crazy. nine, that was her in twenties, in her twenties, bro. Right. Yeah, that was <laughs> not her. If the, I mean, any photos taken like that or like this? Okay. Yeah. Or just always think like that's the that's out of all the photos, that's the one you chose. That's what I always default to. 
Right. Like when I was on the dating websites, I'm like, out of all the photos, that one you chose. Right. Okay. Here we go. Let's see. Gentlemen, here we go. You guys are going to have to vote on this one. This is Stevie. Stevie's Stevie. 26 years old. Okay. Ar already red flags. Stevie. Already fucking. Already. Stevie's 26 years old. Stevie's a single mom who doesn't have time to play games. So if you want give if, if she gives you her time and respect, uh, you better respect it. She's extremely loving and supportive. Let her be your personal cheerleader. Um, is she speaking about herself in the third fucking person? Is that what's going on here? I, I, yeah, I mean, can you blow so. the, right? Can you blow up the picture, please? I'm trying, but unfortunately, it I mean, she work. looks like a couple of my exes. I'm not gonna lie. Whoa, yeah, what do you fucking got going on here? <laughs> Get it to him. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think our listener was like, what is in the background? That's oh, why I, I all these. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, here we go. Are we ready for next? This is uh, this is just this is what the dating scene is like for these young men out there. Look at this shit. I it's I'm not even making this up. Ashley says. I need anyone to cash app me. My car just broke down. I will pay back with whatever you want. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That's just a Here, thirst trap. Wow. That's a thirst trap. She's got trap. a five that's head. Basically... She's got a five head. Five head. Nah, that's a, that's a fucking thirst trap. Good you know, you, dumbass motherfuckers are going to send money, and she's going to ghost motherfuckers. Right? Can I, can I, can I speak sure. to the Can I speak to the single guys that are on the dating scene right now? Real quick. Okay. Yeah. Guys... Make an account on Bumble. Quit fucking <laughs> okay. with all the other fucking online apps. Make an account on Bumble because the women have control on that and you're going to get a higher caliber of women. Yeah. I uh, met my well, wife on Bumble. Caliber of man. Okay. This is Shailene. I, I put Shailene up there because you may not be able to see it, but uh, if you guys can read between the lines, you'll be able to see that there's a... There's a, an interesting thing that uh, came up on her profile about where she's from. But this is Shailene. She's 30. She's in Shawnee, Kansas. She's 5'7". She has her high school diploma. And she wants to know, boys, if you are into what she's selling. Nope. Oh, that's, the, that's the wish version. Yeah. No, Tempuck says nope. she has OnlyFans. Yeah. <laughs> Ten bucks is sixty five cents a month. Uh, okay. yeah, that's probably like fourteen ninety nine or like twenty nine ninety nine. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex with two X's. Alex with two X's coming on down to the oh, show. Oh nope. At least it wasn't three. Alex, Alex, it wasn't three. Let's be real. I ain't looking for just a fuck. I'm more than oh, I'm more than one in a million. Don't waste my time. Peace in my life right now. My small business and kids come first. I like the gym, but I love food and having fun adventures. And as a mom, I need a break from that to release my wild side. I'm that cool mom that sparkles. And if you oh like that and keep your household clean, you're wasting my time. Also, size matters to me. Minimum oh. six and a half to eight inches. Size Don't queen. waste your time. I know what I like, you filthy animals. Yeah, says the woman with the fucking belly. Says the woman with the belly. Look at that fucking picture. Says the woman with the fucking seriously. belly. Fuck off. You need that shit to be six and a yeah. half to eight. Size matters. Size matters. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> invite you in. Step on a fucking scale, bitch. Says the girl who looks <laughs> like a warm tube of Pillsbury crisp. Fuck cold. you. I'm so sick of that shit. I know Size my worth. Matters. Yeah, I know my worth. You know? Do you know your weight? Because you're fucking lying. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, do you want to hear? We got two more. Wow. Teresa or Jora? Who's first? Oh, Let's go Jora, because that's a weird fucking name. Okay. Yeah, that's really weird. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, and Jorah. she's 37, so this is not a Game of Thrones thing at all. Okay. Uh, Jora, right. important things to know about me I have been arrested 26 times. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in. Let's go. <laughs> I'm looking We're for someone drinks. to help me raise my six kids. Dude, oh my what god. The hell? Home and required 24/7 attention. My ex oh my lives god. in the guest room, but he will cook for us. Winky face. Oh my god. I have 7 cats, each with 7 lives. Oh what? my god. I have trust issues and will need access to your phone and your email. Oh my god. No more friends. I am your new best friend now. 
my dog bites men. Oh Located my god, this has got to be a joke. I'm getting her drunk, and I'm going to fucking <laughs> slam her harder than a fucking screen door in a hurricane. <laughs> <laughs> That's my you plan. Dude. That's my fucking plan. <laughs> wow. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, last but certainly not least, as we close out with no big joke energy, uh, instead we'll go to single motherland. <laughs> the single motherland. We have to have a listener write us the single motherland theme song. Yeah, like Disneyland. Like, like we have to have music to play when we're visiting single oh, motherland. Oh my god! This is gentleman, Teresa, thirty-four. Teresa <laughs> is an unemployed alcoholic activist, bisexual mom of two, <laughs> zero pets. <laughs> She is a vegan who is mentally unstable, divorced, wow. dead inside. Hey, chicken, nugget, oh, chicken nuggets addict. We talked about her. She's a vegan chicken Just, nugget addict. Yeah, 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 yeah. no. The, vegans are all vegans are all mentally unstable. Like that's established. Right. You're fucking yeah. vegan. What the you're not. Fuck? You're not Why getting you all the out? fucking. <laughs> oh my hey, god. Hey Tom. Hey, what Tom, makes that play... like? What's up, my girl? Just play Hoochie Mama as a background noise. Just like, old school Hoochie yeah. Mama song. Oh yeah. <laughs> Big booty hoes jump with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. So we've um I think I've played all the songs that people have asked for. Um and so we're good to go. We can just kind of end the show whenever like, we feel like it. Fade out into What do the vegans distance. smell like down there? I I don't know. Grassy? I don't want to know. I mean, I if, if vegetable or farts and vegetable pee smell nasty, I don't want to smell what vegetable hoochie smells like. Can I we guess. just can we just talk about the fact that vegans are like, I don't eat animals because animals just fucking they just there's all the methane gas and all they do is just like eat grass and shit. And I'm like, that's you, that's you. You eat yeah. fucking plants and fart. You're a vegan. That's what you do. But animals are vegan. You're an oxygen thief. Yeah. So when you eat an animal, you're eating vegan. Yeah, I'm 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 on a grass fed diet. All, yeah. all, you all, the, all the meat I all the meat I eat is is fucking plant based. It's great. All the meat you eat is plant based. You didn't just yeah. say that. Yeah. All the you meat I the eat is plant based. Eat the plants. Yeah. Cow, yeah. Cows. Cows.